I'm Fog and this is The Asylum. This video will teach you how to install Tale of Two Wastelands and leave it ready for future modding. A full list of the instructions for this video will also be included in the description, as well as links to all of the files that I used. The Fallout 3 Game of the Year edition released in October 2009, and Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition released in February 2012. Both games normally retail for $20 US on Steam, but currently there is an autumn sale going on where you can pick up both games at half price. In order to install the Tale of Two Wastelands mod, we will first need to download the current version of the .NET framework. After you have downloaded the current version, install. We will now go to taleoftwowastelands.com. We'll click on Alpha Download, and download the current hotfix. I suggest renaming the hotfix file to include the version of the mod that the hotfix is for. You can now download the latest Tale of Two Wastelands installer. I will be doing a clean install so you can see that there are no Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas folders in either my Steam directory or my My Games directory. I will be installing Tale of Two Wastelands to a solid state drive. To save some steps in the future, I've already gone ahead and created this directory on my data drive where I'll be storing downloaded mods as well as the install files for Tale of Two Wastelands. You can now install Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Now you should browse to your Fallout 3 installation. Right click on the folder, turn off read only, hit apply and apply changes to all folders. In order to finish the Tale of Two Wastelands install, you'll need to run Fallout 3 to create the correct INI files. The Steam version of Fallout 3 requires games for Windows Live to be installed. At the end of the games for Windows Live installation, you can actually close the application without launching it. You may now run Fallout 3, and when you return to the main menu, simply exit the game. You can now install Fallout New Vegas. I prefer to run my games in borderless windowed mode, so I'll be setting the windowed box here and then clicking play to create the INI files for Fallout New Vegas. The next step will be to download the New Vegas Script Extender. This is required for the Tale of Two Wastelands installer as well as many mods. Download the most recent stable version. Next we will download Mod Organizer. Many games can use Mod Organizer, but it is housed on the Skyrim Nexus. I prefer to go to Files and choose the Installer version of the application. We will now install New Vegas Script Extender first by opening our install directory for Fallout New Vegas, and then the NVSC zip file, and dropping the contents into that directory. Next, we will install Mod Organizer. When you are given the option, choose to handle Nexus links with this application. Then, change the destination folder to your Fallout New Vegas install. Once Mod Organizer has launched, I take this opportunity to change the download directory to the one I created previously. I would also suggest that you check the Compact Download Interface box under User Interface. You should also take this opportunity to add your login information to the Nexus tab. Now it is time to run the Tale of Two Wastelands installer. I unpack the directory to my desktop, and per the instructions on the Tale of Two Wastelands website, I will right-click and run it as an administrator. On the installer, I will change the Tale of Two Wastelands directory to the one I created previously on my data drive. 
click install when ready. When prompted, make sure to say yes to allow the installer to automatically build faux mods. Once the installer is complete, you can close it. At this point, Fallout 3 has been successfully converted into a mod. If you would like to, you can now uninstall Fallout 3, Games for Windows Live, and clean up your My Games directory. Next, we will load up Mod Organizer. Enable all of the Fallout New Vegas ESM files. Right click and install mod. Then browse to your Tale of Two Wastelands main.fomod file and expect this install to take about 5 minutes. Once installation is complete, make sure to enable the main files and you can see them appear in your load order. You will now need to match your load order to the one listed on the Tale of Two Wastelands website. At this point, I suggest locking your load order as well to prevent it from changing in the future. It may be unnecessary, but I also organize my mod list to match the load order. Next, we will install the optional files for Tale of Two Wastelands. The options that I will be installing are the No Karma DC Followers, Skill-Based Speech Challenges, Startup Menu, MCM Optionals, and Wild Wasteland Options. Be sure to enable optional files after they have finished installation. Full details of what each optional file does can be found on the Tale of Two Wastelands Frequently Asked Questions section. Next we will install the hotfix. I suggest that you grab the Tale of Two Wastelands hotfix and drop it into the Download tab of Mod Organizer. This will consolidate all of your downloaded mods together as well as keeping a copy of this easily accessible in case you need to reinstall. In order to enable some of the options we installed previously, we will now need to download the Mod Configuration menu. If you also plan to run Borderless Windowed, take this opportunity to download one tweak for Fallout New Vegas with Mod Organizer as well. Return to the Downloads tab in Mod Organizer and install and enable the Mod Configuration menu and one tweak for Fallout New Vegas. Tale of Two Wastelands is now playable, but I have a few more suggested mods. The first is Fallout 4 Quick Loot for New Vegas. Quick Loot has two other mod dependencies and links to those mods right on its page. From there, you can download all three of them with the Mod Manager, go to your Downloads tab, and install and enable those mods. I especially recommend this mod if you are used to Fallout 4 and are returning to New Vegas. A lot of higher quality texture packs also require the 4GB patcher for New Vegas. Simply install the files by downloading, unzipping to your install directory, and running the patch executable. To use the 4GB patcher, just change from NVSE to New Vegas and click Run inside of Mod Organizer. Some mods require the editing of the default INI file. Before making any changes to the default INI, it's a good idea to control click and drag that item to create a copy of it. Now, if you ever need to restore your default INI, simply delete it, rename the copy to the original, and repeat the steps as before. Due to compatibility issues, I would suggest waiting on any major gameplay overhaul mod until after your character has left Vault 101. To limit compatibility issues with Pip-Boy mods, consider completing the Tranquility Lane sequence of the Following in His Footsteps quest that you receive at the beginning of the game. This also applies to the Aiding the Outcast quests that you get as part of the Operation Anchorage DLC. The installation is now complete. If you ever wish to turn off Tale of Two Wastelands, simply uncheck the Main, Optional, and Hotfix files. We are left with what is essentially an unmodified Fallout New Vegas directory, fully compatible with most of the mods available on the Nexus. For a little over 15 gigs of hard drive space, you are looking at at least 100 hours of gameplay. Easily more. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. If you'd like to see more, let me know. Subscribe, like, share, bell, and comment below. 
Thank you.